Yeah, so what I'm doing now is fixing that termite damage. And uh, this room was added on the house by the previous uh, owner. And where these two foundations go together, there's a crack between them. And I was gone for like one week in March, and there was like a pile of uh, dirt about one foot in diameter on the floor here where termites dug up through, the, through there. I sprayed a bunch of chemicals on it. I thought they were dead. A few days later, I see there's mud coming out of one plug socket. So what I'm going to do uh, is clean that crack out. I'm going to dump a bunch more chemicals down there. And then I'm going to seal the crack up with some stuff that one customer of mine told me about that does concrete. And then I'm going to fix all this. Yeah, and how I cut the sheetrock out in here so it doesn't make as much dust is I just took a skill saw and put the blade down about three-eighths of an inch and cut it. And then you only have to run the utility knife across here one time to cut through that. And that saves a lot of time. Yeah, and what I've been doing to clean this crack out is shoving a broken bandsaw blade down in there. And it's done pretty good. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, it's a lot of work to clean that uh, crack out. And by what I read is termites are active from March through uh, May. And that happened in March. And that year it rained a lot. And water attracts termites. And what I did was I looked at the water meter and saw the numbers on it and waited eight hours later and didn't use any water and the numbers hadn't changed so there's no water leaks. It was probably caused by all that rain. But this crack needs to be sealed up. Yeah, it's probably an eighth of an inch. I know it's kind of hard to see this. Yeah, this piece I originally I knocked holes in the wall up higher up because the termites made it that far up the wall. Yeah, it takes a long time to clean that crack out. So I took and dumped uh, two and a half gallons of this termite killer down the crack. Uh, normally you mix this with a lot of water so it should really contaminate the ground where nothing will live down there for a long time. Yeah, that was the most expensive part of this job. Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is clean that crack out between the concrete because I dumped all those chemicals down there. I'm just going to lightly go over it with this blow gun. This is for uh, using, this is for sucking chemicals up to spray at an engine. And it's called a Guard Air 79SG. And I'm just going to put that in water and, and then I'll wait a few days before I put the sealer on there. Yeah, and that went real fast to wash that crack out. Now I'll let it sit for a few days before I put the sealer on. Yeah, and when you do something like this, you always want to save a couple pieces of the sheetrock that you cut out. Then you can go to like Home Depot or Lowe's and they can match the paint. So this is what I use to seal up the crack. I have one customer that pours foundations and he's told me to use this. It takes a hell of a lot of it because it goes all the way through the crack. And here's what it looks like after going over it a whole bunch of times. Yeah, that crack's totally filled in now and I got it all off. It was all over the tiles too. I got that off of the razor blade. Yeah, it ended up taking four small ones, or nine small ones of these and four big ones to do that. That was about $150 worth of that stuff just to fill that in. Yeah, and that self-leveling sealant is supposed to go completely through the crack, so it fills the whole entire thing in. That's why it takes so much to do this. Yeah, and so I got something to screw the sheetrock to. I put a 2x4 in here to extend this out. And you can see how great these impact drivers are. I mean, it fits right in the small space. Yeah, I got the first piece of sheetrock in here. The easiest way I've found so that you know where the screws need to go is just to mark the wall up above it and mark the floor. Once the trim piece is back on, you won't even see that. Yeah, and I got the sheetrock back on that wall. Yeah, and in this corner, I put two 2x4s two here too so I can screw into it. And I wrote on the wall where the wires are at so I don't accidentally screw into the wires. Yeah, I got this wall uh, sheet rocked. I ran out of that mud so I can't do the top yet. Yeah, so now I'm ready to redo the grout. 
and I just took a razor blade and I cut that sealer out anywhere where it was too high. And I bought this uh, pre-mixed uh, kind. And all you do is just put that in the crack and then go over with a wet wa wash rag and that's it. Yeah, so that looks a whole lot better than it did. The grout was always in bad shape right here. And I think I'm also going to redo this around the sink. I'll go buy the other color because it's all it's bad like right in here all the way around. Yeah, so now I'm going to redo the grout all the way around here. Everything's good except right where the tiles go up the walls. And I broke some pieces out of there. This is how I matched the color with this that I found at Lowe's. And that's this pre-mixed stuff again. Yeah, it definitely doesn't match. But I guess I'm just going to live with it like that. Yeah, because it's cracked all the way around here. Yeah, I got this uh, drywall texture gun at uh, Harbor Freight for 26 bucks. Yeah, here's the part number. And it did okay. I had all this taped off. And it looks like originally somebody sanded it a little bit, so I might go over it a little bit with sandpaper after this is dry to get it to where it kind of matches what's already there. Yeah, and I took and sanded the texture real lightly with one of these uh, sanding blocks that are like a sponge. Now it looks a lot closer to what, what's originally on here. So now I'm ready to paint this and put the trim back on. Yeah, I got the first coat of paint on. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You can hardly tell that I've actually done anything here. Usually the paint never matches perfectly when you have it take it in there and they're supposed to find out what color it is. Yeah, eventually I'll repaint the whole entire house, but not right now. Yeah, it's all painted and all the trim pieces are back on. I just got to put that plug so two covers on those plug sockets. And there will be uh, more uh, tool related videos coming. I'm just trying to do some long overdue projects to the house first.